Hey there, my name is Paul and I'm with RCDS Guitars and today we're going to talk about the tremolo systems that we offer on our O series of guitars. If you're a person who really enjoys absolute tuning stability and you really love to be able to go up and down on a bar, I mean, of course, the Floyd Rose is a very, very simple choice to make in this regard because you will return to a perfect kind of tuning stability once things are set up properly. I could dive bomb and show you what I'm talking about here. And the other thing is that I personally feel like it has a really great throw. You can go up and down with this tremolo and it sounds pretty awesome. Of course, I'm just doing my best Steve Vai impersonation as I've got a Floyd. Of course, of course I am. That's a big fun part of the Floyd Rose. It stays in tune very, very well and it's absolutely fantastic in terms of the way that you can play around with it. So I think it's pretty obvious with the Floyd Rose, there are some significant benefits. I mean, the fact that you can kind of wail on this thing and it'll stay in very good shape in terms of tuning stability, that's really useful for those of you who are maybe touring or considering touring or need a studio guitar. So obviously if you're a player who really enjoys you know, the, the classic kind of 80s metal shred sound, a Floyd Rose is a no-brainer. But what about for the folks that are more interested in playing maybe a bit of an older style of music or maybe a more hmm, bluesier style of music? So here's our second option here in terms of tremolos. We have the Hipshot Contour Tremolo. This is a really lovely, smooth feeling tremolo. I always found it to be very smooth. Um, and again, though, it does not have any kind of locking up here on the nut and that's just the way that this tremolo works some people prefer this kind of aesthetic and some people prefer the throw and the feeling of this bridge as opposed to a floyd rose just as a general disclaimer here if you're going to go for a hip shot us contour tremolo it is non-locking in the sense that there is nothing at the nut right so you're gonna end up detuning for sure our guitars are super stable but of course a vintage trem is a vintage trem and they're gonna do what they're gonna do so if you're playing live with one of these you definitely want to check your tuning in between each song if you're a stickler about your tuning. Some folks are a bit more rock and roll and uh, don't care too much, but it's still recommended to check your tuning for sure. <laughs> This is again a really smooth feeling kind of throw and a, a lot different feeling in terms of playing around with the bar itself. I would say that the guitar still feels as resonant as an RST does already is. The difference being is that it's a little bit more of a subtle feel with this tremolo and that makes sense, right? It's not going to go up and down quite as quickly as a Floyd Rose and uh, I, I find it really comfortable and, and fantastic. So here's a bit of clean playing with this guitar and uh, I'll, I'll let you decide for yourselves what you like better. <laughs>
Gotta love that sustain, hey? Yeah, so a very subtle feeling bar uh, and it can require a bit of delicate touch as well as the Floyd Rose, but the Floyd Rose is, is a different beast. So I would argue this is really wonderful for those who prefer that kind of smoother kind of sound. I think the Floyd Rose will allow you to have more tuning stability, but I haven't really noticed this go out. Again, I'm not going ham on the thing, but I'm not going to go ham on any Floyd because at the end of the day, I don't play like that. And a lot of people don't play like that. So I think it's important to keep in mind, what is the bar going to be used for for you? You know, are you going to be playing bluesier things, cleaner things? Do you prefer the tone of the contour versus the Floyd Rose? These are questions that you have to ask yourself when you're deciding on a tremolo. If you're dead set on a tremolo, that's the thing to start to consider. So thank you for joining me in this short video comparing our tremolos for the O series guitars. So what did you think at the end of the day, huh? Which, which tremolo makes sense for you? Which one do you prefer? Which sound did you prefer more? Let us know in the comments below. If you're curious about our guitars, go to rcdesinstruments.com. And if you have questions about these trems still, just hit us up through there and, and we'll help you the best that we possibly can. We always want to help our customers so that they know exactly what they're getting. We'll catch you next time. Cheers!